G'day shooters, come for a drive while I tell you about this device. It's a Smart Rest Rack and Rest 2. It's a gun rest designed to sit in the frame of a car window and hold your rifle while you drive. When you've got a shot on, it leaves the rifle there so you can simply swing it into position, put it to your shoulder, close the bolt and take a shot. Easy as, and it works really well. It gives you a really good range of movement. It's very convenient because of the way it holds the rifle and it's good quality too. When you drive along, the best way to carry the rifle is butt first inside the A-pillar with the barrel hanging out the window backwards. That way if you do come across something, a branch or a tree or something that gets flung up, it's not going to catch the barrel and flick the rifle around. It also does make it really easy to bring the rifle into action when you need to. And if you hit some bumps and the rifle starts to move on the rest, you can always just reach up with one hand and hold it steady until you're over the bumps. As you can see, when you're just cruising around in a paddock and the road's not too bad, even with a few bumps, more than we're getting now, the rifle will just stay there. All of the pivot points are based on friction and when you've got them just torqued up about right, that rifle's not really gonna go anywhere. If you over torque them, it'll be hard to move the rifle, but if you get it right, the balance between stability and ease of movement is spot on. And when it's time to get out of the car, your door's not impeded at all. The rifle stays there in the window and away you go. Putting the rack and rest into the frame is the easiest thing in the world. Drop it down on the frame like this with the tongue down in here and the back part of it right up against the uh, B pillar put the struts into place inside the window frame and you're done. It's not going to go anywhere. To get it off, just reverse the whole process. Struts out, lift it off, you can put it away and drive your car home. Or if it starts to rain, pop the window up so you're not going to get wet. Fitting the rifle into the cradle is really easy. Just put the butt into the smaller of the two V mounts, just behind the pistol grip and that way you can still hold the grip well. The four ends will go into the larger V mount and then there's a couple of silicon straps that simply go over the top of the butt and the barrel and hold it all in place. It's a really easy system and it works very well. The range of movement you've got to work with with the double pivot mount, a pivot here and a pivot here, and this arm, is really large. You can swing the rifle around until it's facing pretty much straight ahead, or you can swivel it right back until it's facing behind. The big variable, of course, is how much room you've got inside the car. That's always going to be a bit of an issue, but the rest itself is allowing you to maximise it. It's certainly much more than you can generally use without a rest at all, and much more than I've ever been able to use with one of the traditional door-mounted rests that sits outside the car. The other thing you can do, of course, is open the door to increase your firing arc even further. One of the things I really like about it is that even though I'm right-handed and generally will shoot out of my right shoulder, this rest allows you to take it around to your left and more comfortably shoot at different angles. Now, if you think that you're not left-handed or not right-handed, give this a go and I bet you I can prove you wrong. Very few people won't be able to do both. Not only does it make you ambidextrous, but it's effectively ambidextrous too. You can mount it on the left side or the right side of the car, driver or passenger side, doesn't really matter. So that way, when you've got your mate driving, you can go and shoot, if you've got your mate. The rest is also incredibly steady. You stay on your point of aim, it's almost as good as having a bench rest. And in fact, when you're out in the paddock shooting from a car, it's hard to go past this. There's not much will get you more steady than this one. The Rack and Rest 2 is pretty much over-engineered. I know the guys at Smart Rest don't like things breaking, whether it's their own stuff out in the field or things coming back under warranty. So they did improve this from the first to the second version and they've strengthened a lot of parts where there was a bit of a weakness that came up. I've never heard of one of the Rack and Rest 2s breaking. Uh, they've also been really clever about some of the adjustments. You can balance the rifle by moving these arms forwards and backwards, but you can also stretch them individually or shorten them depending on how long your rifle is. You can also adjust where the rifle sits, high or low, with these mounts so that you can adjust it to fit you nicely when you're in the car. So it sits in your shoulder and your scope lines up with your eye. Those sorts of things make a big difference with something like this. The accessories they've got include offset arms that bring the rifle out to the side, so there's room if you've got a longer box magazine to be able to use it. There's also a spotlighting kit. Uh, it mounts a spotlight up here where you can hold onto it with one hand while you're driving along. So you can spotlight, you can drive, and then you can pull the rifle out and shoot what you can see in the spotlight. The whole setup is really well thought out and certainly gets my vote. I think it's a good thing. 
And on that note, it's time for me to go and do some shooting. The Smart Rest Rack and Rest 2 is available at a lot of gun shops for about $300 in 2021 as we made this video. It's also available online at smartrest.com.au.